Good morning. Welcome to my channel, Dougie Shaven. The sun is up here in Austin, Texas. It's going to be a beautiful day. Can't wait to play golf with the fellas. I've got my Thanksgiving coffee company. It's a medium blend. It's Saving Baby Rhino. They're out of Fort Bragg, California. Artisanal coffee roasters. Mm. Nice medium blend. Today I'm going to be starting off with my gentleman's nod, Fred Shave Primer. And featuring my Wild West Brushworks. Derek Wheeler calls this Sarsaparilla, which I can totally see. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, he's on Etsy, um, Wild West Brushworks. And we are partying today with Hendrix Classics and Company, Emperor Oud. Shout out to Canadian Mafia for uh, getting me this. I won it on their live and uh, I got it a couple weeks back and I wanted to break it open, but I was like, you know what? I need the set. So um, I went ahead and I got the after shave balm to go with it. That just came in the mail. I'm super stoked to try this. Um, just got out of a hot shower. Face is nice and wet. Looking forward to playing some golf with the fellas today. We've had a lot of rain. The golf courses are super green. And uh, I know at the club, they've got the uh, the green's rolling really nice, so that's going to be some fun today. It's going to be warm out on the course. Now, this gentleman's nod, this is a, uh, they call it a shave primer or a pre-shave, and it's unscented. So, um, I can let the scent of the soap and balm prevail, and it offers a really great glide on that first half. Softens the beard, gets everything ready for for your shave. So the Olympics are coming to an end. Got a nice hydrated lather here in my Captain's Choice Bowl. Olympics are coming to an end. I can't believe it. Now this Emperor Oud, it's a very nice woodsy scent. There's no like muskiness or funkiness to it. It's just a good woodsy scent. Um, I will say it was advertised as if you don't like strong scents, don't get this. Um, and off the puck, it, it gives a really great scent. But once I lathered it up, there's, there's not a lot of scent left in it. Not like some of the other ones that I get. So, but it is a very nice, pleasant, woodsy scent. Super lather. And I tell you what, this stuff takes a lot of water, almost like wool fat. I mean, a little bit off the puck. And it, this stuff just blew up. I mean, absolutely blew up. And a nice, thick lather. Very nice thick lather. Got the Max Sprecher here. This is San Mai, and Max is a genius. He's just he's just a freaking genius uh, when it comes to straights. And we've had a lot uh, several conversations. You know, I asked him about honing and you know whatever, and he was very nice and took the time to talk to me about everything. All the questions that I had to ask. I just put an edge on this bad boy. Started off with my 4,000 Norton, went to my 8,000. Then my 12,000 Naniwa Superstone, and then to the uh, 
16,000 Shapton to finish it off. And I gotta tell you, I'm gonna have to use this bad boy a couple of times to, because <laughs> it is uber sharp. I, 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 it's a little too sharp for my taste. Looking forward to golf with the fellas. Um, we've got a, the, the, the pot is continuing to grow and uh, this is three weeks now. So uh, nobody's taken it yet and um, could, could happen today. I'm feeling good. My putting's awesome. My short game is on. Tell you, this is a really, really slick soap. I mean, really great lather. Nice scent. I spoke with Pete, uh, we, we talked for about an hour yesterday, uh, Pete Hendricks, and you know, we talked everything from uh, soaps to balms to, you know, saving the environment and saving your skin, your body. And I like where, where Hendricks uh, Classics and Company is going. Uh, really great uh, concept. Really great product. I already have the James Bond uh, offering. My girl really loves that stuff. I mean, it is a great, great soap. But Pete was talking about he's getting into the, uh, you know, the scents and everything. And I think that's such a great concept. Because if you're like me and you got like a whole bunch of tubs... You know, it'd be nice to just have, you know, one tub of neutral scent and then you, you scent it up with whatever you want, whatever you're feeling for that day. But, golly, this soap is really nice. Look how thick that is. I mean, I just put a little bit up in the bowl. I did a test lather last night and it blew up on me then, too. I was like, what the heck? Um, and I, I was just like, maybe, maybe it was a fluke, but no, it did it again today. <laughs> really, really super, super nice soap. Now he's got a variety of different, uh, butters that he uses. And, uh, I gotta say it's, 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 there, it's, it's all really nice. Man, dude, this Sprecher is blinging sharp. I did a great job on this thing, I gotta tell you. Uh, sometimes I sharpen them a little too much. I like them more of a buttery kind of thing. And you gotta shave with them a couple of times to just... really kind of dull them out a little bit. But, uh, I put so much soap in this, I mean, water in this soap. And it can take even more water than that. I mean, it can take a whole lot more water than that. Super terrific.
I wasn't even going to shave today. I was going to go out with my game beard. <laughs> I don't have much of a beard, but, but, uh, Um, but, uh, wow, just really nice. And, and it's, it's, it's very slick. It is so slick right now. I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I don't have any soap on my face. My face is so slick right now. Look at that, with a sharpened sprecker, folks. Against the grain, no soap. I don't know if you guys can hear the feedback on that, but oh boy, those cheeks are trim, baby. Trim. I never do this. I have got so much, it's it's like there's a layer of, I don't wanna say oil, but, it is so nice and smooth that I can do a money pass on my neck without soap. I'm telling you what, <laughs> really, really great products here. I didn't think my, my James Bond was this slick, but man, one with the grain, one against the grain, and then a cleanup, and man, I am baby smooth. I'm ready to win some money today. Out on the golf course, get a little hot water, hot water splash. Very nice, very nice. Cold water splash, close the pores. And got to love the Lancaster. Oh. oh, baby. Super close shave. Finishing off with a little bit of the Thayer's. This is the unscented. I also have the cucumber, but I'm trying to see where we're at with the scent on this Emperor Oud from Hendrix Classic and Company. I just did my neck too, so uh, did that with a double edge. Gotta keep the neck nice and tight. Love the Thayers, good stuff. Mm. And we are finishing off with the Emperor Oud. This is the aftershave balm, and it's a. It comes in a jar, and it's just like the the regular balm that comes out of, you know, the little squirty things that you get. Um, it's got a real nice scent to it. Uh, as as with the other, I'm just gonna do a little dab on my my fingers and see how far that goes. Ooh, so so smooth on my cheeks. Oh man, now I'll tell you what. Now this balm has a really great woodsy scent. Way more so than the soap does. Oh, and it has a good feel on your face too. After that super close sprecker. Wow. Really nice. Super terrific. I gotta tell you, I'm digging this smell. It was a great scent. 
like I said, it's very woodsy. It's not musky. It's not funky. It's just woodsy. I don't know how Pete did it, but it's, it's absolutely great. My face feels good. I'm ready for the day. Had a great shave. Folks, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. And I will see you again real soon on Dougie's Shaving.